Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our forgiveness essay. We are about to today, we are about to do our second body paragraph. And I want to tell you um, that you have already done the hardest thing yet for this essay. When we wrote our introduction, and did our first body paragraph, the rest of this is going to flow. You've done this before, you know. Um, and so let's talk about it. In your introductory paragraph, you just talked about revenge and forgiveness uh, in a big sense. It happens to everybody. Your, your family and your your friends are always wrong. You know, not always, but sometimes they wrong you and you have to make that decision. You can't get through life without making that decision. Heck, sometimes you need forgiveness from people in life um, and you have to ask for it and you hope that they will give it to you. So it's not so, it's something that you can't get away from, right? So we talked about that. You funneled it down and then you mentioned the fact that forgiveness is better than revenge for many reasons. And then we were done with our introduction. Now, in your first body paragraph, you used um, a really important source. It was Desmond Tutu's speech. Um, let's have that for show how the world had to forgive. Um, before you even gave that, you explained um, that you, you once again in the in, in the beginning of your first body paragraph, you talked about the fact that forgiveness and revenge is something that we all deal with, right? Then you talked about the fact that you can see, yeah, that. A great example that you could have seen this would have been in Desmond Tutu's speech that he provided several examples why free, uh, forgiveness is better than revenge for so many reasons. You explained it. This quote was important. You know, you gave a quote. This quote was important because um, you said this. This is important because this quote clearly shows you finished it. You were done with paragraph number one. Now today, paragraph number two, I'd like to tell you. It's pretty much exactly the same as paragraph number one, except instead of using Desmond Tutu's speech, let this world so south africa how to forgive today now in paragraph two you're just going to use your second source which was the article forgiveness defined now i bet you now you know let me say it this way you know i have a worksheet for you that's going to tell you how to do it step by step um but i bet you now this is your third essay with me uh that you could probably write this even without that article right you could talk about your thesis for a couple of sentences uh point out the fact that a lot of research has been done over the years hey a great research article that talks about it is Forgiveness defined. In fact, consider the following quote from Forgiveness Defined. Give the quote. This quote clearly shows that forgiveness is better because of blah, blah, blah. This is important because it gives us a, you know, a real world research example of why it's better. And then we're done. I think you could do that even without it. But why not? Let's take a look at it because we have it. So allow me to present it to you. Hold on one second. Uh, we're looking at unit three, second body paragraph, uh, our worksheet, uh, which is going to tell us what to do. So I'm going to read it again. This is where you use your best quote. From the second major source, uh, forgiveness defined to support your thesis. Now's the time to use the quote to support your position. You know this. Now, what I would do for two or three sentences is explain, just talk about. Tons of research has been done on the benefits of forgiving and the consequences of revenge. Uh, scientists study this. Researchers study this. Probably doctors and psychologists as well. Hmm. The next thing I would do is spend one or two sentences. Hey, a really fantastic article that talks about this is forgiveness defined, period. It explains in detail what it is to forgive and why it's better for you. And then I would do number three, consider the following quote from forgiveness defined. And then I would give a great quote. So at this point, what you're going to do is go all the way back into um, your classroom, right? For this unit, go back to the bottom, find uh, where the, the assignment for uh, forgiveness defined annotations. You're going to click that open. And inside that, you are going to find your annotations and quotes that you did for it. Hopefully in there, you're going to see three to five fantastic quotes dealing with forgiveness. Your job now is to just pick one of those quotes that you have already done. It should already be cited as well. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, it should be annotated as well. So pick the best quote that you have and then copy and paste that into your uh, into your paragraph at this point. Also, you can copy and paste your annotation at this point. It should say something like, this quote clearly shows, and then it'll explain what it clearly shows. And then, of course, you're going to say something like, this is important because it gives us a true real-world example of what it is, of why forgiveness is better than revenge. Ladies and gentlemen, you're done with that paragraph once you have done that. So again, you are going to go back and you are going to first explain in two or three sentences that a lot of research has been done on this. Two, you're going to explain that this article, Forgiveness Defined, is one of the best articles to, to show why forgiveness is better uh, for so many reasons. Three, you're going to give your quote. You are going to start it. I would suggest starting it with one of the three. An excellent quote from the article to support this is, or this can be clearly seen by the following quote, or consider the following quote. And of course, you are going to insert your quote. Afterwards, you are going to cite it correctly. Look, I have done it for you there. Look at my sample. It shows it to you. In parentheses, you put forgiveness defined with forgiveness defined in quotations inside those parentheses. Then goes your period. And then, of course, you are going to finish it with this passage. 
clearly shows that forgiveness is by far, or this quote clearly shows, or this is an excellent example of, this is really good way of learning that. I don't know, you can do this yourself, just make sure you explain it. Um, and then of course, this is important because, and then you are done. Ladies and gentlemen, excellent job.